Hello everyone. Welcome to HSE World. Today we are going to see safety in lifting and crane operations, part 1. What are the types of cranes used in construction? There are two main categories of cranes, static cranes and mobile cranes. A static crane is a permanent or semi-permanent structure, fixed to the ground, or building that lifts and moves loads along a fixed path. There are three major static cranes, overhead crane, tower crane, level luffing crane. Overhead crane. On an overhead crane, a horizontal beam called the bridge travels up and down, a runway on a track, or rail. Tower crane. Tower cranes are the cranes, you see, along city skylines, that are used to build tall structures such as skyscrapers. Level luffing crane. A level luffing crane consists of a vertical mast attached to a rotating, latticed jib that slews and moves inward and outward from the base. Mobile crane. A mobile crane is mounted on treads or wheels and can be moved from job site to job site. Types of mobile crane are crawler cranes, rough terrain crane, all terrain crane truck crane, carry deck cranes. What is wind speed limit during lifting or rigging? Lifting will be stopped if the wind speed exceeds above 32 km per hour equals 20 miles per hour equals 8.998 meters per second. And what is working radius? It is the maximum radius or distance where the crane boom should not exceed for lifting the load. What is the name of the device which indicate crane boom angle? The safe load indicator measures the angle and extension of the boom. Along with the load weight and compares this with the manufacturer's specifications to determine if the lift is safe. A safe load indicator has the capability of detecting the angle, weight of load lifted, and ground radius of any lifting device. What is lifting plan? A lifting plan provides a systematic approach towards planning a lift, and ensures that the lifting operation is properly managed. For example, a lifting plan would ensure that the crane is safely deployed and operated, and the lifting crew are clear about their roles and responsibilities. Before you start any lifting operation, you must prepare the following. Lifting plan supported by a risk assessment, safe work procedure or method statement, permit to work PTW, and other relevant documents, example, load capacity chart, range diagram, rigging method. What is difference between SWL and WLL? SWL, safe working load, WLL, working load limit. Safe working load is the amount of weight, load, that a lifting device can carry without fear of breaking. The main differences between safe working load, from working load limit is that, SWL, is the older term. Today, SWL is not used anymore, because it has been completely replaced by the term working load limit. What are the lifting accessories? Lifting equipment, also known as lifting gear, is a general term for any equipment that can be used to lift and lower loads. Chains, hooks and rope slings are smaller accessories for lifting. What is load chart? Load chart is a summary of what a crane can and cannot do. It gives a brief overview of the crane's capabilities and goes over the crane's features and characteristics including the loads it can handle, given certain specifications, lift height, lift angle, etc. Different types of sling used for lifting. There are mainly three types of slings used in lifting, synthetic or nylon webbing, wire rope slings, chain slings. What are the parts of the crane? The hook, jib, boom, sling, shackle, outer rigger and counterweights, Anti-two block device, load movement indicator, auxiliary hoist.